General, we are starving. Please, you have to do something. Fear not. I have an amazing idea. I know you're dying of hunger. It is so unfair that I get to eat while you, the brave ones, go hungry. So I have decided to take the greatest sacrifice of my life to feed you. You can eat her. So, how did we get here? Loyal Chinese officer An Lushan rose to the rank of a commander, started a rebellion and captured the whole northern China. Got real fat, started his own dynasty, Yan dynasty, and was murdered by his son, who ascended the throne and wanted to capture the rest of the China. To achieve this, the rebels Yan army had to go through the strategic city of Suyang. City was defended by the loyal Tang general Zhang Sun. Attackers numbered 120,000, while the defenders numbered only 9,000. What should have been an easy victory for Yan army ended up being one of the bloodiest battles of the rebellion. This is a story that focuses specifically on this siege. If you want more information about the rebellion, you can check out my previous video. General, enemies are all around us. We're encircled. So well, strap in, fellas. This is gonna be a long one. At first, attackers tried to capture the city by force, but failed, as it was too well defended. So they decided to starve out the defenders. Inside the city, situation started getting desperate. Food was running out, the attackers outnumbered the defenders 10 to 1, so direct battle was out of line. To survive, General Zheng had to come up with something brilliant. God damn tank soldiers, let me sleep! What was really happening is that defenders were feigning an attack by playing war drums. So attackers had to be on standby for whole night. This quickly exhausted the young soldiers, so they started ignoring the drums and didn't even bother putting on the armor. Dude, you sure it's okay to skip the armor? Relax, they won't attack us, there's too few of them. Told you, man. Zhang's idea worked. Yan troops were literally caught with their pants down. But just killing some soldiers was not enough for Zhang. He also needed to destroy Yan soldiers' morale. For this, ideally, his soldiers would kill a popular Yan general, Yin Ziki. Problem was that Zhang soldiers didn't know how he looked like, so Zhang came up with an additional idea. Commander, look, those losers ran out of proper arrows. They're shooting weed at us. Look at them. This worked so well that Yan abandoned the siege and left. But Zhang knew that even though this battle was won, war was far from being over. Not even a year later, Yan regrouped and came back with even greater force. City was encircled again. Time and time again, Yan tried to capture the city, but each attack was met with fierce resistance and was repelled. Thousands of Yan soldiers died trying to take the city, all in vain. In the end, they again decided to just starve out the defenders. Soon, the food started running out inside the city. Hey, what's on the menu? Water. Water? It's boiled though, with some sodas. This couldn't go on, so Zhang again had to come up with a brilliant idea. So, how's your wife holding up? Yeah, good. Yours? Yeah, fine too. Not this again, man. Zhang ordered 
30 of his best men to break out of the siege and ask nearby Garner for help. And this kind of worked. Although some recruits managed to enter the city, more than half of them were lost trying to get in. Even though they did bring some food with them, with more mouths to feed, food shortages came back almost immediately. General, we ran out of all the food. What should we do? Tell the soldiers to live off the land. You know, eat the beards, the berries, the roots and such. Sir, we ran out of birds and berries and roots and such. There's nothing left. Then eat the rats, goddammit. But sir, it's actually the rats that are eating us. Eating us. Eating humans. Human meat. Flesh. General? Oh, uh, yeah, right. <clears throat> Tell the boys to start eating the insects. They must be still around. Soon, even the insects ran out. You can eat her. General Zhang really ordered his soldiers to eat the women. But soon, women also ran out. So General ordered them to start eating the elderly. But even those would not last. So in the end, General ordered his soldiers to start eating the younglings. What's amazing is that even though defenders were barely able to lift the swords, they still somehow managed to defend the city for a couple of more months. But in the end, there were just too few of them and they were just too weak from hunger. You have fought valiantly, my men. You can be proud. But Alas, can we? I mean, we did eat everyone. Eat yeah, I, I ate my mother. Yeah, me too. I also ate your mother. After almost a an year of holding out without any food, defenders finally gave up. At this point, death certainly sounded better than life for most of them. After the city was taken, almost all the defenders were executed. Enemy was so impressed by Zhang that they offered him to join the rebellion. Zhang, of course, declined this and was promptly executed. Even though the city had fallen, it had taken so much time and defenders managed to inflict so much damage that Yan army was rendered basically incapable of waging further war. Because of this, Tang Emperor decided to posthumously award General Zhang. But this was met by heavy controversy. We have to give him an award. Dude, 30,000 people were eaten and the city was lost. It was a strategic victory. I'm sure that the eaten people would understand. This is why everyone hates you. <clears throat> this video took me many many hours to make. Since the channel is just getting started, each subscriber really matters. So if you want to support what I do, please do consider liking and subscribing. Thanks in advance.